Love to switch gears just quickly. Can you tell us a little bit about Tolosa and your project there? And for anyone that might not know what that is and what you're doing there and why? The um, uh, mission of Tolosa, Tolosa is the name of the city that we're going to build of 5 million people, um, uh, likely in the, in the desert. Um, it, the, the, the sort of idea came from not wanting to build a city. It was really trying to test a new model for society, one that's more equitable and sustainable. So on the uh, equitable piece, um, you know, I, like many Americans, have just been really, you know, concerned about the divide happening in America. Um, and, you know, I, I fundamentally believe capitalism is an incredible economic model. But like any model, it has flaws. And, you know, we, we know that, you know, 100 years ago, um, you know, monopolies were, were not protected. The government didn't protect against monopolies. And, and you know, um, employees suffered big time. And then the government said, wait, you know, capitalism is a great model, but we, we can't have monopolies. We need to have competition. So we're going to have antitrust laws to protect, to make sure that there's competition. And that was a, a, a big move forward for capitalism and it made it a much stronger model. I think there's still another, another gear left um, or another a void to, to sort of fill. And, and that is land ownership. And so, you know, landowners, there's a finite amount of land. People um, got access to land way back when, put a stake in the ground and said, hey, this is my land. And you really don't need to do anything. You sort of have a little bit of a, a monopoly on that land. As people and communities move, move into that land, it increases the value. As tax dollars are spent on infrastructure, it increases the value. You didn't have to do anything as a landowner. You literally could just sit back. That's not really at the heart of capitalism. Capitalism is about you know, taking risk, applying capital and, weight and, and, and labor to sort of build something and create value. So we thought, what if the model was slightly different what, what if the land were owned in the beginning um, by a community foundation? And, and this is the intent here. We're going to buy 200,000 acres of land through a community foundation. We're going to build a city of 5 million people. The land, the day the, that 5 million people are living there, the land will go from a worthless desert to be worth an, an incredible amount of money. That land will then be sold off by the foundation to create a uh, uh, a, a city wealth fund, if you will, or an endowment, and we'll use that proceeds of that endowment to invest in the most advanced social services, education, medical care, jobs training, affordable housing. And if we do it right, when we pencil out the numbers, we'll have about $50 billion a year to invest in these services in this city of 5 million people, which would give the city some of the most advanced social services anywhere in the world without having to increase taxes to pay for it. We know the social democratic countries in Scandinavia, they've got, you know, they've got cr crazy social services, but they also have crazy high tax rates. This is sort of the best of both worlds. And that's sort of the model we're testing. Can we have both? Can we have great social services and create a more equitable base or foundation for people without having to, to make people you know, pay more taxes? And we think we can. That's the model we're testing on the equitable side. And then while we're doing building a city from scratch, we're also going to make it the most sustainable city in the world with 100% renewable energy and zero waste. And I can, again, I, I, I'm sure we have limited time here, but, but that's, sort of, that's sort of Tolosa in a nutshell. Hey, Founder Fam, we hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.